Hello there and welcome to Stun Meals. Today I feel like making some comfort food, but I don't want to make the unhealthy kind. So follow me on this adventure of making comfort food that still is a bit healthy. If that makes sense. Let's go! These are the ingredients that I will be using for this recipe. Sweet potatoes, one avocado, a couple of cherry tomatoes, a couple of radishes, one or more spring onions, some sriracha sauce, and to finish it off, I was originally going to use sour cream, but they didn't have that in the store, so I'm going to try it out with cream cheese. I'm really curious how it's going to turn out. Let's get started. So. Are you ready for a lazy montage? Peel the sweet potatoes! Alright, now cut them up into pieces, either strips or small cubes. I'm going for small cubes! There we go, wasn't it easy? So I have cubes about this size, I'm really happy with that. Now moving on, here I have a baking tray covered with aluminum foil. You can either do that or cover it with some baking paper. Now I'm just going to dump all of my sweet potatoes on there. Beautiful. From this step on you can just put them in the preheated oven at 200 degrees celsius for about 20 minutes or you can season them with some olive oil, with some pepper and of course salt to give them a little bit more of a flavor. Now just give them a really good mix. There we go. And as I said before, put them in a preheated oven at 200 degrees celsius for about 20 to 30 minutes. While the potatoes are in the oven, we're going to prepare everything else. Let's cut the tomatoes into small pieces. And there we go, we have ourselves a little bit of garnish. Let's set that aside. Take our radishes and slice them up. Or wait, let's slice them up. There we go, set that aside as well. For the spring onion, just slice it up into thin pieces and set that aside as well. And finally, our avocado. Just peel and remove the flesh. Let's put everything in a bowl. Ooh, different shot. At this point, you can just mash the avocado up and it will be perfectly delicious. Or you can just tweak it into a guacamole by adding a little bit of garlic. Just press it in there, season it with some pepper and some salt. And add a little bit of lime juice, which I do not have. Damn it! Anyway, without lime juice, it's also pretty good. Oh yeah, guacamole, a simple guacamole. And that's it. Now let's wait until the fries are done. About 30 minutes later, the sweet potatoes are done. Now it's time for the assembly. Some sweet potatoes to start off. Maybe I'll move this away. Some guacamole on top. A slice of radish here and there. Some tomatoes, spring onions, and a little bit of cream cheese on top. And to finish it off, a little bit of sriracha for the kick. And there you have it, a healthy alternative to comfort food. Oh, it's time for a taste test! Time for a test test! Let's try and have a bit of everything. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, it's so good! Mmm! 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 Oh, gosh, stop eating! I wasn't here! Uh, while Leo was making this, I just came home and he was like, do the taste test. And now I'm tasting it. I don't know what it is, but it's so delicious. I'm guessing it's uh, avocado, sweet potatoes. We've got some, how do you call it? Radish? Basically a healthy comfort food. Mm, it's comforting, all right. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.